Hey, Kevin, what do you have there? Oh, this is from those mad scientists over at AHP. This is the new Alpha MIG 250. Ooh. Yeah, you remember they used to have the big standalone Alpha MIG 250. They got rid of that, and they came out with this one. So what kind of changes have they made in this new model? Well, they've obviously gotten rid of the wheels because the other one was a standalone. So the wheels are gone from the front. The little carriage assembly on the back that would hold the bottle, it's gone. But they've also made it a little bit taller, a little bit wider, and a little bit deeper than the other one because this is now a four-way machine instead of just a MIG and stick like the old Alpha MIG 250 used to be. And by four-way machine, I mean it's a TIG, it's a MIG, it's a stick welder, and it also does spool gun because it is a DC only machine. So you have DC only in your TIG, but by having a spool gun, now you can still do aluminum with it. And on the control panel, you've just got your section here that is your basic functions. So MIG, MIG with pulse, there's TIG, TIG with pulse, there's stick welding. You've got a 4T and 2T selector. On the other side of the machine, you've got your selector for spool gun. Spool gun here, or MIG there. And then your inductance controls, your voltage controls, and your wire speed or arc current controls are over here. And then the top up here, you see another yellow knob and a menu button. And if you push it, it drops down into your TIG functions. So here's your preset, or your pre-flow rather. Here's your post-flow, some other different parameters. And one of the great additions that AHP has made to this machine is just inside the cover where your wire spool and your feeder are. So now we have a couple of stickers with different parameters on it. And then this second little panel, this is that little hidden menu that's off of the menu button. So that way, if you get over here and you're pushing on the menu button and you're twisting your knob and trying to know, wait, what was that? Well, it's all right here. It will take a full-size spool, you know, a 30-pound spool of wire in it. It's got a nice dual drive rollers in here, steel rollers. And it even has a little quick feed, but to help spool your wire through when you're changing the wire on the MIG. On the back of the machine, they've made a couple nice changes. You see they now have separate inlines for the argon gas for TIG the mix gas for MIG, your on-off switch is buried back in here, and this is the power cable. I think you can see right here that it says AC power 120 or 240, 50 hertz or 60 hertz. So that all boils down to mean it's a dual voltage machine, so 110 or 220. It is a 250 amp machine. It is a MIG, TIG, and stick welder as well as a spool gun machine. The kicker here is $1,100, guys. Pop out to the AHP website. It's the only place to order it. Look for the Alpha MIG 250. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my gear on and I'm gonna get hot and sweaty with this welder and learn all the things that it can do so I can come back and do some videos for you guys. So in the meantime, hit that like button for me and I'll see y'all again. And right here on the control panel, you've got all of your different settings. Let me flip it on. Okay, let me turn it off and plug it in.